Hey guys, welcome to my first ever phone review. So right here, I have the, as you can see, the Omidi G Power 3. So ngayon, i-unbox natin and i-review natin ng phone. So actually, namuksan ko na to at nagamit ko na for 2 days. So uh, meron na akong mga pros and cons for this phone. So, let's just do first the unboxing of the phone. So, right here, as you can see, the phone is the cover of the phone is black and it's feel like very premium. So, I'm gonna open this one right here. And as you can see, we have here the Omidi G brand. So, pag bukas mo nito, makikita mo na yung yeah, this one first. This is just all the manual and the SIM injector. I'm just gonna put it here. And right here, we have like a thank you message from Omidiji. So, and it has a giveaway to enter. I don't know, for Facebook, Instagram, and whatever right here. So, let's put it here. And as I said, guys, I already reviewed this phone or used this for two days. So, there's no plastic here anymore because I already removed it. So, here uh, we have this one the cord and the charger this one is for the reverse charger so let's proceed guys to the actual specs of this phone so from a title itself we have power 3 omidi g power 3 this phone has a very huge battery life it has 6150 milliampere okay so moving on uh, we have here our camera it is actually a 4 cameras right here so we have here I think for the top we have the 5 megapixel for the depth sensor and on the center here we have the 48 megapixel and we have the wide angle 13 megapixel and we have also the macro which is only 2 megapixel the display guys this phone contains 6.5 full HD display and it's only LCD so for the power of this phone, the processor of this phone, we have the Helio P60 high performance. So, kaya kaya to maglaro ng mga latest games na sa medium and high settings yung mga mabibigat na games. But if you're just playing Mobile Legends, this phone is very good in Mobile Legends. And you know, guys, the best thing about this phone, this phone is stock Android. And it has the latest OS, which is Android 10. So, what we mean by stock Android, there's no more Bluetoothware or there's no pre installed app. So, this phone is very, very fast whenever you navigate. And also, this phone has a 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig of internal storage that's the only variant they have they don't have six or one two eight so let's review guys in detail the battery capacity of this phone as i said earlier we have 6150 milliampere so it has a 18 watts fast charging and based on my experience i can use this for three days without charging this battery has a lot of juice Okay, so this is the adapter and this is the cord. We have here the color red cord from Omidichi. And this phone, guys, it can also be used as your power bank. This phone contains reverse charging feature. So you can charge uh, your other device with this device, with this Omidichi Power 3. And they just provide us with this cable. Okay, it's a... OTG cable to phone to phone. Okay, so for the screen to body ratio of this phone, we have 1080p by 2340p. So this screen has 6.53 full HD display. More screen and more immersive. So for the design of the camera setup, we have here the punch hole design, guys. And it's not water drop. And this is the cheapest one if we're going to punch hole. Kitang kita nyo naman guys, yung display niya is very good. As you can see, the text, the background is very clear. Hindi mo siya akalain na LCD display lang siya guys. 
para siyang AMOLED display. So, ayos to pang TikTok. So, ito may TikTok ako. Then, try natin mag-play ng mga video sa si YouTube. So, for si YouTube here. So, let's play one video here, guys. Maybe this one. And, pwede siya. 1080p. 1080p display. As you can see, super clear yung display. Pero, hindi masyado maganda yung speaker. Pero okay na rin for its price. So, try natin. Netflix. Kung okay ba siya pang Netflix. So, right here, meron akong crash landing. Oh, okay siya. Pwede. Ang ganda ng screen. HD na HD. So, pwede siya guys. Maganda siya pag YouTube, Netflix. So guys, this phone has a Helio P60 processor with 4 GB of RAM and 64 internal storage. So try natin ang performance ito sa mga games. So right here we have Mobile Legends and let's go to the settings and we have here everything on the high. Skin, vibration, camera height, HD and HFR mode. Guys, this is very important if you're playing. It's more immersive. It's like high FPS if we enable it. So, ito po guys, the actual performance on the game. So, sobrang smooth siya guys. Hindi siya naglalag. Kitang-kita nyo naman. Oh, first blood kami. So, walang hiccup guys. Pwedeng-pwede siya sa Mobile Legends. Nakakita nyo, naka-high settings po tayo. High frame rate. And very smooth. So, baka makakill tayo. Oh! Ayun, nakakill tayo. So, so, if you want, if you're re really passionate sa Mobile Legends, this phone is really for you guys. It's very smooth for this game. No lag at all. Kita nyo naman, na-stun ko. Hindi pa tayo gamer guys, so, pasensya na. So, okay guys, so, na-try natin yung Mobile Legends and it's very smooth sa Mobile Legends. Pero try naman natin yung mga mabibigat na laro. Gaya nito, Asphalt 9. So, let's try to set this one to high settings. So, sound and display. So, right here, it's high quality. So, tingnan natin kung may frame rate drop siya. Okay, cut naman. Ito po guys yung performance niya sa Asphalt 9 with high settings. So, medyo napipil ko na hindi mataas yung FPS. Nasa around 3 p ata. So, pero, pero playable naman siya guys. Pero this game is very heavy. This is too big. And I think it requires really a high performance processor. Pero in this case, it's still playable and ma-enjoy mo siya. So, proceed naman tayo sa camera nito. So, as you can see guys, this have a four cameras at the back. And it has a front camera here, which is a punch hole design. And for the front camera first, we have 16 megapixel for this one. And for the back, we have, again, this is 5 megapixel depth camera. And on the center, we have here the main camera, which is 48 megapixel. And we have the white angle camera which is 13 megapixel and the macro camera which is 2 megapixel so uh, try natin mag capture ng mga photos and videos so right here guys kita nyo naman yung quality ng picture sobrang ganda so, super detailed ng image ganda ng 48 megapixel and try natin yung wide angle and kita nyo naman super wide yung capture nito and for the front camera guys Medyo parang may filter, parang pumuti ako. Parang hindi natural, pero pwede na rin. And let's try naman guys yung video quality. So, medyo na dismaya ako sa video quality nito guys. Kasi nasa 1080p and 30fps lang yung kanyang kaya. So, tapos yung stability hindi masyado magad. So, to wrap up this guys, uh, sasabihin ko ngayon yung mga nagustuhan ko at hindi nagustuhan sa phone na to. So, unahin natin yung mga nagustuhan ko. So, first and foremost, I really like the 6150 battery. So, I can use this for uh, straight 3 days without charging. And, medyo mabigat lang siya ng konta, pero okay naman. Hindi naman 
masyadong factor yun, pero it's very big the battery so it's very good thing to have that one also we have the screen display sobrang ganda talaga guys ng screen display hindi mo talaga lakalain na LCD na ito parang amon din yung quality niya and also the processor this is a mid-range processor and uh, I think we can play any games latest game for this one on medium to high settings and the last that I really like about is the stock Android. So, stock Android, no more Bluetooth, only Android pre-installed apps. And no more MIUI, no more Realme UI. So, sobrang bilis niya when it comes to performance if uh, we're using stock Android. And also, one last thing is the camera. Camera is like average. It's very good for picture taking but it's not good for recording and stuff. So 30, 30 FPS lang at 1080p for the recording. But overall, the camera is very good when it's only photography. So sa mga bagay naman na hindi ko na gusto nga sa phone na to is first is yung audio quality. Medyo you know parang lata yung tunog ng audio quality. Hindi masyado malakas. Pero baka doon sila ng cut off na price Kasi sobrang mura lang to So meron talaga ang low quality I think dito sa speaker And as I observed guys When I use this one When I charge this one It's heating up when I use and charge So I think I better advise to not use Not to use this phone when you're charging So umiinit siya If nagcha-charge ka So I think yun yung downside So yeah guys, so that's it for the good thing and bad thing of this phone. Pero kung tatanungin niyo sa akin, worth it ba to for 2020? Of course, this is very worth it based on its price, guys. Okay, so sasabihin ko ng price. So the price of this phone is only 8,100 ngayon sa Lazada. So I will put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. Yeah guys, very worth it for its price and I'm gonna end this video and sana may natutunan kayo bago kayo bumili nito and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out!